I noticed that there was something, uh, something called Power Up Your Professional Image. Is that a program you do with women? Is that correct? Or? That is a program we do for women. Okay, it's a collaborative uh, organization, really an event-based company, if you will, where we're bringing in all these experts that help women uh, help themselves, build themselves, improve themselves on the outside, the packaging, and also the inside, the confidence and the skill set. So we've done a few of these uh, events where women come together, and it's it's kind of a combination between a makeover and a whole professional Make development. Over by way of their physical presence? We, we look at their physical presence because mm -hmm. the visual communication, how you look mm -hmm. right now, your suit, your tie, your hair, your hands, your nails, sends information to somebody else and people size you up like that. So, um, you know, there can be cha little changes made that make a huge difference in hairstyle, in clothing. So that's that's the you know that's the stuff well, women Kathy, are used to. Well, Kathy, the reality to, right? of it is, you and I learned a long time ago that 80 to 90 percent of all communications is nonverbal. Absolutely. And people need to understand right. that exactly. So your professional appearance is one is part of that mix. Mm -hmm. And then of course there's the communication, there's the uh, the attitude and confidence that you have, and and how you present yourself both to yourself and to other people. So. When a woman goes through this program, I mean, there must be part of this program where you tell a woman, look at when you get out into your corporate life and you begin to work, uh, these are the two or three things that you're going to be confronted with that as a woman you need to be able to overcome. Right. What are those top one or two things? Well, let's say for young women, women mm -hmm. coming out of college. Of which we have some a lot, in the audience Absolutely, here. absolutely. <laughs> I, I just mentioned I spoke at the Total Women's Conference for Girls and Young Women just two or three weeks ago with Princess Bola Adelani. And one of the points I made for the women about their professional appearance, I said, not too much skin. Mm -hmm that if you're showing too much skin, that people are going to be focused on that skin, on your body, and not your brain. Are you talking about interviewing and work? And Both. work, absolutely. So the, I think when kids, kids, young young adults graduate from college, they've got their shifting environment, so they have to adapt. Mm -hmm. And so that Saturday, Friday night look is not what they want to bring to the workplace. Mm -hmm. What would be another thing? So that so that's one. Uh, the other part is also um, their, your posture, how you handle yourself. One of the very interesting insights is how much space women take at the table. Women tend to bring everything in and take tiny little space, and they put their hands, you know, cross their legs and have their hands crossed, while men spread Just out. All over the place. Right. <laughs> and they literally open their legs, and it's just, it's, it's probably has a whole lot of history. So for women, we say, all right, bring some stuff, spread out, make yourself bigger at the table. In fact, I thought mm. before coming here, Jim, that you're taller than I am, and I have this, you know, this hair that's growing back. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a second. So I have this little tiny head. I might need a, a seat or a phone book to sit on so I have a greater physical presence. <laughs> I'm not doing that, by you're the way. Fine, you're, you're doing fine. So helping women be bigger, mm -hmm. which also helps their confidence. How about class? How about the glass ceiling? The glass ceiling. Still yeah. exists in terms of women being able to get up to the senior executive ranks and the numbers that they should be? If you look at the numbers, there's something amiss there. Mm -hmm. There's still a gap both for women and for people of color, um, African Americans and Latinos, mm -hmm. and that's still something that actively needs to be fostered and worked at. But I think that for the women that I've met, it's not the glass ceiling that's the first issue to deal with, it's the glass walls. It's it's the personal encasement, uh, the limitations okay. that we set on ourselves, what we can or what we mm -hmm. think we can or can't do. And so the power up your professional image is about breaking those walls so that there's an opportunity to go up or you know what, to go forward or go sideways, whatever the woman wants to do in her life.